We have live from the Spear Clinic for everybody's favorite day in here. Graduation Daddy Danielle. Mm -hmm. You had a really long journey with CRPS. I did. You started at 10. Mm -hmm. you, you tell your story. I don't know why. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wrote it all down so I didn't forget it. So my journey with CRPS started back in 2008 when I was just 10 years old. Um, I had a fractured heel that just wouldn't get better. Um, and although I wasn't lucky to have been diagnosed with CRPS, I was lucky that it was diagnosed the very first day that I had symptoms, which is unheard of as many people know. Um, I immediately started Lyrica and intensive physical therapy. And over the course of three years, the CRPS traveled between my two feet, causing me to be in and out of wheelchairs, crutches, and walking canes. In 2011, after those three years, my symptoms disappeared. At the time, they told me that it's because I hadn't hit puberty yet, and once I hit puberty, it was I was cured and I never had to worry about it again. Obviously, if that was true, I wouldn't be here today. Um, what I now have learned from Dr. K is that I wasn't cured, but instead my symptoms became dormant for a while. It was like we had got CRPS stuck in a rickety old cage, and it was just waiting for the perfect storm to come out. And that came six years later, in 2017, when I was 19. Um, I was in a cycling accident that left me with two dislocated kneecaps and a re-diagnosis of CRPS in both my legs. Over the last five years, I've tried all sorts of treatments, and although some brought relief, it was always temporary, and the rebound pain was always worse. Then last year in August, my mom and I came for a one-day visit to Sparrow to see what the clinic was all about. And to, to be honest, after my day here, I thought everyone was a paid actor. I <laughs> could not believe that this was real. Um, after so many failed treatments and broken promises of healing, coming to Sparrow and seeing so many people do better was just something I couldn't believe. Um, I had built up really strong emotional calluses, and I was tired of being disappointed by doctors and treatment. Um, I had learned to live fairly successful despite my pain, and I was scared that if Sparrow didn't work, what it would do to me and my health. But I also knew I'd never forgive myself if I didn't try. So a year later, my mom and I packed up our bags, and we've now spent 15 weeks here, and I get to stand in front of you all and say it's the best thing I've ever done in my life. I'm not quite in remission yet, but I'm really close. I have a chronic viral infection that's being stubborn, but I spend most of my days between zero and one with an occasional two, and I've managed to hold a zero for 48 hours. Woo! Thank you. days were between four and seven with players up to eight, nine, and tens. So that was my typical day to day. Um, I'm confident that in the near future I'm going to be in remission. Um, and I'm also confident that it's going to be true remission, not like when I was little, because here I healed my whole system. CRPS isn't just in the cage, now it's just completely out of my body, and I'm, I'm very confident in that. Um, Sparrow has also helped me realize that I hadn't learned to live despite my pain, but I just learned how to survive these past years. And I'm super excited to get to go home and live. Um, there's so many amazing people I want to thank. Um, I want to start with my friends and family who aren't here but have supported me over the years with a special shout out to my best friends, Kayla and Anna, Manny and Jacqueline, who have loved and supported me over the years, especially the past few months. Thank you for never treating me differently because of my pain and for keeping me updated on the gossip that I've missed. Um, I want to thank Manning, my wonderful boyfriend, you, a fun fact, the first person I've dated who didn't know me before CRPS, and I was very scared to tell you about CRPS, obviously, but um, I was more scared to tell you I was gluten-free, which uh, <laughs> you found out on your own. <laughs> um, but you've done nothing but show me such love and support, and I can't thank you enough for everything you've done, and I'm excited to see for you to see how even better I am without <laughs> chronic pain. Um, I want to thank my siblings, Ryan, Nathan, and Kylie, who can't be here either, but I know are rooting for me back home. I know CRPS is hard to understand, but thank you for never questioning or doubting me and the pain I had. I want to thank my parents. <laughs> Nothing I can say will ever be enough to thank you, you both. Um, having CRPS is obviously very hard, but I can't imagine what it feels like to be a loved one who has to watch someone with CRPS. I'm sorry that your favorite child had to suffer all of these years. <laughs> Um, and I know you both must have felt so helpless throughout so much of it, but I want you to know that none of it was ever your fault, and I can't thank you enough because I wouldn't be here without both of you. Thank you for getting me here today and helping me get my life back. Thank you, Mom, for putting your life on hold to spend 15 weeks with me in Arkansas <laughs> and for taking care of me the whole time. 
And thank you, Dad, for all the love and support from home and for always being ready to be tapped in. <laughs> um, I want to thank everyone I met here at Sparrow who have showed their, shared their stories and supported my mom and I while we were here. Carla, Georgia, and Sarah, I'm going to miss you guys so much, but I'm practicing my Australian accent, so I'll come to Australia and sound just like you. <laughs> um, and I want to give a special shout out to Alan and Mom Trish, which is so sad. You two have become two of my favorite people in the world, and I'm going to miss our weekend adventure so much. Um, I'm so sad you live all the way in England. I, I know, it was kind of rude, but <laughs> my mom and I have always wanted an excuse to travel, so that works for us. Um, even though we won't be together, I'm always rooting for you and your recovery, Alan, and I look forward to FaceTiming while we do ARP workouts from our own homes. I'm ready. And you'll always have a best friend here in America. I want to thank each and every staff member here at Sparrow. You all have been some of the most amazing and selfish people, and I'm forever grateful for all of the incredible support and help you've given me over these past weeks. I'm very excited to go home, but I'm going to miss you all, and you've made clinic, leaving clinic really hard, which I never thought I'd be saying. And last, but certainly not least, I want to thank my incredible NMR team, Bryce and Maggie. Come up here. Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Maggie, thank you for providing comedic relief during the sessions. I've loved getting to know you. You're going to do great things. I'm going to miss you. I've missed you these past few weeks, but I'm going to miss you harder. Um, Bryce, <laughs> thank you for helping me realize how strong I truly am and that I can do hard things even when I don't want to. Excluding scaps, I always look forward to our <laughs> sessions because I knew I was going to work hard, laugh, and leave either less or no pain. Thank you for pushing me out of my comfort zone, even when I didn't want to, and for building such a strong trust between us that I knew I was always going to be okay. I'm thrilled to leave scaps behind, but I'm sad that I won't get to hang out with you, and I'm going to miss you a lot. <laughs> yeah, we'll still hang out. Virtual hang out. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Continued to work out and train prior to coming here, you know, as a feel good, you know, accomplishment thing. But, you know, we always had symptoms, we always had pain. And we had come in with uniquad. <laughs> quad stands for four. She had one quad. And now if you look down, Quadzilla! Yeah. Oh, wow. Look at that. Uh, now I have two. Yeah. Very, very happy to see this girl out today. Um, the zeros we've been experiencing are. Are relatively new in the last week, holding on to them for longer and longer and longer. We were, we kept trying for the 24 hours, and we were cutting short to 23. I didn't know it was 48. That's I know great. that was your surprise. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. That's great. So yeah, she's going to be just fine. Um, she's got whole program, continuing some stuff at home. Might have to do a, a little three-way with her. Where's Ellen? Ellen? <laughs> three-way call with Ellen. Yeah. Both going. I think so. Are you ready yeah, to no, do this? No. Yes, I am. <laughs> 